All right. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a it's been a while, you know. Cause I've just been doing stuff. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah. So it's been a while, and uh, my friends reminded me. They're like, "Hey, you should make a video." I'm like, "Yeah." Been meaning to get around to that. There's just kind of the uh, stuff going on, you know. Whether it be with school or other stuff, you know, it happens. But that's why I'm glad we're back here today with Untamed Planet, a game where you can play as animals. So that's pretty rad. A female wolf, I don't know what the difference would be there. Um, female, obviously don't know the difference there either. But we're not going to be playing as either of those. We're going to be playing as the hippopotamus. I don't know why, bro. Just because. I mean, why wouldn't I want to be a hippopotamus? You know what I'm saying? So, what cut? We should be. Yeah, we'll be. We'll be a rhino. We'll be kind of a. We'll give them a kind of a rhino color, you know. And then scale. Oh, we can make it bigger. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be the biggest one. And obviously, we're gonna go our hippo, and then the hippo. Obviously, because you want to keep with the theme. Like this, this obviously isn't the same person as me, right? This is that this is the hippo version of me. So, obviously, you want to keep that. <laughs> so yeah, here I am. Uh, these these other dudes are hippos too, so we're gonna say, um, hey, what's up, fellow hippos? And uh, we'll see we'll see if anybody responds. I forgot this this might have supposed to be a a role play session of being a hippo, so I'm not entirely sure what a hippo would say. Um, maybe am hippo. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, so anyway, let's go. God, I am abysmally slow. Okay, there we go. We got a we got a nice little a run animation there. How do I be a baby hippo? Oh, look at that. We've got a carrot. I don't know what exactly make yourself smaller there you go that's gonna be my answer to that because that's the truth there's only one thing separating normal hippos from baby hippos and it's that they've just grown up I mean just think about it think about it big brain here oh we got a human and a wolf I'm not gonna lie can I No. <laughs> Obviously, I have that uh, that power to just decide who gets to be a baby hippo and who doesn't. Collecting this egg may take patience. Can you swim underwater? If not, do not fret. This egg is nocturnal. But what egg? Well, obviously, I'm a hippo, so I can because that's what we do. Who would have thought hippos swimming look exactly like hippos walking? Truly majestic creatures. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they also have given me currency and I don't know what the premise of currency would be. Like why would a, why would a hippo need currency? I've opened my mouth. Let's sleep. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is a ter this is a terrible sleeping animation. And uh the fact that I can just do it while sitting underwater is even worse. But here we are. Oh, I'm back. Okay. So we're really just gonna 
I was thinking about talking about stuff today, but I was just like, I don't know. This game is really just, it's carrying the whole entire weight. Like, straight up. Hippos cannot swim. Did you not? I, I beg to differ on that one. Did you not see what I just did? Look at this. This guy definitely can swim. Yeah, maybe it's a problem in the programming. You know? Because this man's definitely swimming. Hell, it looks like he can sleep underwater, too. He can really just sleep under there, you know? Alright. Anyway. Let's, uh... Let's keep going. Some meat there. I think, I think hippos can eat raw meat. My god, dude's zooming. I think we can go pretty fast too as a hippo, obviously, but I believe they have a very fast land speed. I don't know if that fun fact will pop up here, but I do believe hippos are quite fast. So anyway, I, uh, yuck, you can't eat that. They're herbivores. See, I didn't know that. See, they they did it to me. They showed me what I can and can't be. So, went to Cane's today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're not aware what Cane's is, it's, it's a restaurant where you actually just... Oh my god. Oh my god. I've seen the light. Is this... This is where hippos go to die? It's beautiful. Well, we're gonna head away from the light because we're not ready to die yet. So anyway, yeah, I went to Cane's. If you're not aware, Cane's is a restaurant where they only serve chicken tenders. It's like any person that likes chicken tenders dream because <laughs> that's all they serve. And they're probably the best, you know what I mean? So yeah. Other than that, we're gonna kinda just... Fall off the edge, actually. I don't know. We've come to the end of the world. Which is weird that they even put this in here in the first place. But, what else is a hippo supposed to do in his life except make a pilgrimage to the edge of the world and then jump off you know it's probably part of their religion or something let's be real here so let's um goodbye world and hippo alright let's go I went out of bounds. Well, that makes sense. I have respawned. We're back. Oh my god, it's dark. It. Dark. Damn, hippo. I forget this is a roleplay. <laughs> I like that. I like what that guy is doing. Did see that? Hold on. I gotta do what that guy's doing. Sleeps. Hold on, I got my got my sleep emote. See, I'm sleeping now. See, that's a man who knows exactly, exactly what's going on. So let me do the same thing as him. I'm also gonna put z z z z z z because I'm sleeping. See, you get it. All right, anyway, we're gonna be done sleeping. <laughs> Moves on the couch. I didn't know animals were supposed to have couches. Scar stops bleeding. Oh my god. These guys are getting really into this. Maybe I'm just not cut out for the life of a hippo. This is what's going on. My god. Oh, I see it. Uh, so if you can't get it underwater, you can just go and get it when it's above ground like this. I mean, I've already gotten it, though, so... Man. This is quite amazing, really, actually. 
it's just like I don't even have to say anything the game just speaks for itself you know but I will um, so we're collecting carrots at the moment I don't know a leaf yes see this is what we needed watch this since I'm an herbivore or an herbivore there you go watch this Hippos eat at night time to avoid the heat of the sun. Well, this hippo just ate in daytime. I'm not sure it will kill it. But what do I know? I'm not a hippo expert. I'm just a hippo. So it's just waiting for them to tell me what I can, can and can't do, really. So yeah. Just wandering a prairie, perhaps. Let's see what we have. A snowshoe hair. A hair would be pretty rad. They're probably like really fast. Are you gonna hunt me? Perhaps. Obviously I have the power to do that because, you know, hippos may look fearsome. They're primarily herbivores, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously I knew that. Oh, plastic rings. Oh, you can't eat them? I'm so mad. This would be so accurate if you could eat those because that's a huge problem. But eating too fast, try again in four seconds, all right, all right. Bam. Yeah, that's why you don't litter, by the way. If we're teaching life lessons to, to you young ones out there, you never litter, because that's actually a huge problem. Is A, if you litter in a city, right, someone has to clean that up for you. It's quite lame, you know, that they have to do that for you when it's your trash. And B, if you do it, like, in oceans and stuff like that, that's uh, how animals, like, eat them and get sick and get injured, you know. So don't do that. But anyway, this is pretty rad. I don't know what's going on down here. I could probably survive this jump. I don't know much about hippos, but I feel like they could probably survive a jump like this at the very least. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, obviously. Oh, I've sat down. So yeah. See, I'm telling I I know a lot about hippos, guys. Like, dude. Obviously a hippo could survive a jump like that. I was like eyeing it up and I was thinking about it and I'm like, yeah, I've seen hippos survive jumps like this. So obviously it was gonna survive. So I'm at this shrine to a snowshoe hare. I believe this is probably where you go to put in all the infinity eggs and then they come together and create uh, a gauntlet worthy of giving you the snowshoe hare. That's probably what this is. Hurts for a cult, but we're not going to talk about that one. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going here. Living life. Um, this is role play, after all, so I suppose we can hit him with the, the nuzzles. Ooh, ooh. This is role playing, after all, guys. So, even though I'm a hippo, I can still nuzzle. Ooh. So now we're fine. We're very far from where a hippo should be. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know who would live in a forest like this. Out of all the animals we could choose, base base game, you know, without expansions. Um, I don't know who would live in a forest like this. Maybe maybe a wolf, perhaps. That's all I can think of. A branch. I don't know what the point of having a branch is. Yeah, so. We're just kind of running. Living our life. There's really not much going on here. Also, can I note when I said nuzzles, ooh, that man said run. <laughs> Which is a very good response to when someone does that. If anybody in real life says that to you, or even over a gate, 
if we're being real here. Just run, like actually. I, I'm, I'm with that guy on that one. Which reminds me. Put in the comments if anybody's ever said that to you in real life. I know people do the whole woo woo and all that stuff like in real life, right? By the way, we're going to climb this mountain here. Obviously, I've seen hippos do this as well, so I know they can. They're capable of it, you know? Oh, this is where the bald eagles are, of course. I should have known. The bald eagles get a zip line, which is pretty rad. Oh, yo, I can take the zip line? God, this is so far away. Why would they expect anybody to get to this? Well, this is one of those eggs that we need to summon. What I would assume is this world's equivalent of, like, Cthulhu. Whoa, hey. Well. Yeah, this is quite unfortunate. You know, it's quite unfortunate that that had to happen. Because... We were just having a little bit of light fun on the zip line. <laughs> but oh well. You know. Unless I can see it in eye shot, I don't believe I can. It might be a bit of a trek to get back there. I think we might uh I think we might end this video. Let's uh Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. First time, this game was absolutely fire. I think it like straight up carried the whole episode. You know what I mean? So I'm not even gonna apologize for it being boring. However, I will say I will come back with better material next time because you know it always feels like I'm blowing a stand up set. If we're being real here, everybody should know that. And um. Yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna end it. So... With my man going to sleep... Um, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, thank you for watching, as always.